It's coming to you from the Aero Barrier booth. This is tucked in the back corner of IBS. I'm sure a lot of people miss this. And this honestly is one of the coolest things, if not the coolest thing I've seen here. Let me see if I can explain this briefly for you. Basically, this is a system for tightening down the air tightness, the air exchanges on a house. And they can take any house, even a house under construction or a finished house, from a very leaky envelope to a very tight envelope. Let me show you how it works. They've got a blower door that's integrated with this computer system here and the computer's running everything. And what it's gonna do is we're gonna pressurize the house up to 100 pascals, meaning there's like a 40 mile an hour wind in the house. And now the house is gonna be leaky. We're gonna force that air out of the house. And then there's a sealant that comes in here that's blown out and is an airborne sealant. It's like a floating caulk, the size of a human hair, but sticky like a caulking. And this airborne caulk is gonna stick on all those leaks. A hole up to a half inch can be sealed by this system. And on the remodel side, or on older houses, they've taken houses from a 15 ACH50, super leaky, down to a one ACH50. A production builder in Arizona called Mandalay Homes is taking all their houses down to 0.2 ACH50. These are crazy low numbers. Where I am in Texas, I only have to take my houses by code down to a three ACH50. So a 0.2, that's passive house, that's crazy low. Let me see if I can show you a couple places of how this works. So look at this, if you were in the in the drywall stage, let's say, and they came in and sprayed this system, it takes about two hours, this is what it would look like. This pipe right here had a big hole there, and that caulk basically accumulates onto the holes to seal everything up. Now, I would actually prefer to do this in the frame stage. It's say if you had a conditioned, a sealed attic, or maybe you drywalled the lid, you could do it in this stage, and then you could even use fiberglass bats later. But look at this, it's gonna accumulate. This is a, a joint between the studs, there's a sheathing joint out there. Air was leaking through there and this accumulates on there and tightens down the air tightness of the house. Air tightness is a big deal for me, especially in the south, because when air leaks in, it's gonna bring with it mold spores and pollen from the outside, and even worse, moisture that's gonna deposit on my walls. And when I've remodeled, that's where I've found a lot of mold in the back of sheetrock is from air leaks in.